Alright, this is how we bleed the oxyacetylene tanks in welding and jewelry. Uh, first thing you're going to notice coming out into the welding studio uh, is that there is pressure on these lines. Uh, pressure is indicated by this needle being above zero here on the oxygen regulator and here on the acetylene regulator. So we need to get that uh, gas out of those lines. <clears throat> we do that, we are going to go up to the front and check out the keys. This rig is number three. This is the number three rig. So we will go to the front tool room and get the number three set of regulator keys. Uh, let's see these keys. Let's see, we'll just put them in here. This one. Here we turn the keys clockwise just to get them loosely into their regulators. Alright. So they thread on very easily, indicating they are the correct keys. Um, <clears throat> now we need to make sure that uh, the tank main valve is closed. Uh, this is the main valve of the acetylene one and that is indeed closed. The oxygen tank has a safety clamshell on it. So this opens up to reveal the main valve and that is also closed. Uh, looking on the top it will indicate which direction to turn the valve to close it. Okay, so now we have oxygen from here through the line, and we have acetylene from this point through the line, and we need to get rid of that. Uh, the first thing we'll do is screw in the regulator key until the needles start to move, indicating that we have opened up the line just a bit. We can do the same with the acetylene. Now the line is open. The next thing is to look at the splitters to find the correct torch head. Blue indicates that we will be using the blue torch head. We will open up the valves on the blue and again on the blue you should see the needles move. Now, we have acetylene and oxygen through the lines to this point, the torch, and we will open up, and you can hear it go, and the needle drops to zero. That was the oxygen, and again, with the acetylene, all right, we have successfully bled the lines. There is no gas left in these lines. The final step is to close all of the valves. That's our torch head. And then again with the splitters. And then finally we'll remove the keys. Counterclockwise, unscrewing the keys. Place them back in our box to take them back up to the front. 